Hey guys, my name is Matt Johnson, and today I want to share with you a budget video editing computer build that you can put together for around $700. This computer will enable you to edit 4K and 1080p HD video in Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve or basically any other video editing software other than Final Cut, which is Mac only. And this computer should be fast for years to come. Back in mid-2017, I made a video about building a video editing PC for my brother, and that ended up being very popular. And since then, many of you have been commenting saying, hey Matt, do you have an updated build video for 2019? Are these parts still relevant? What are the new parts that I should be using? And that's why I'm making this video. Okay, there are three things you need to know before we start talking about these specific parts. First, all of the parts that I'm going to be talking about are going to be linked down in the description as well as on my kit page. So if you want to go down there and check out all the parts, you can do that. Second, this video is just going to be about which computer parts to buy, not how to put them together. But don't worry, I'm not going to leave you high and dry because that video that I made back in 2017 is over an hour long and details every single part of the building process from taking the parts out of the boxes all the way up to turning the computer on. So I will also have that video linked down in the description. And to be clear, the parts in this video go together the same way that the parts did in the last video. So watch this video to buy the parts, watch that video on how to put them together. Cool. Third and last thing before we talk about these parts. I said at the start of this video that this is a video editing build for $700. And all of the parts at the time of making this video do add up to approximately $700. But depending on your budget and how flexible you are, I'm also going to share with you some higher priced options for some of these parts that you could swap out if you wanted to that would give you a better and faster video editing experience overall. Okay, let's get on to some parts. Up first, let's talk about the motherboard. One of the least glamorous but most important parts of any computer build. This is what you're going to put your CPU, your RAM, your GPU onto. The motherboard I would recommend is the MSI B450A Pro motherboard, currently retailing for $96. The important thing you need to know is that this motherboard has an AM4 CPU socket, which means that you can put many of AMD's Ryzen CPUs into it. It also supports up to 64 4 gigabytes of RAM, so if you decide you need more RAM in the future, you can upgrade. More on that in a bit. If this motherboard becomes out of stock or is randomly discontinued for some reason, because that has happened before randomly with motherboards, please leave me a comment down below and I will update the link with a roughly equivalent motherboard that is also approximately the same price. It'll still work with this build too, don't worry. Moving on, let's talk about the CPU, the brain of the computer, which is arguably one of the most important parts of any computer build, especially whenever it comes to video editing, because the CPU that you choose is going to be one of the biggest factors in how quickly your computer can edit and render video. For a budget CPU option, I would recommend the AMD Ryzen 5 2600, which I've found online for $150. This CPU is a big upgrade over my last budget PC build because you are going from a 4-core 8-thread CPU to a 6-core 12-thread CPU. The more cores and threads that your CPU has, the faster your video editing and rendering will be. So this is a great choice. It also comes with a CPU cooler, so you don't have to buy one. If you have a bit more room in your budget though, and you want a faster video editing experience, then the CPU is what I would recommend that you upgrade. So I have some recommendations for you. If you can afford it anywhere from 20 to 50-ish dollars extra, depending on where you buy it from, then I would actually recommend a Ryzen 7 1700 CPU. This is from the last generation of CPUs from AMD, and they're kind of on their way out, so they're sold out in some places. But if you can find one, it will work with this motherboard, and it has 8 cores and 16 threads. The Ryzen 7 1700 should result in about a 20% increase in editing and rendering speed over the Ryzen 5 2600. Lastly, if the Ryzen 7 1700 is sold out, though, and you have the budget, I would instead get a Ryzen 7 2700 for about $100 more than the Ryzen 5 2600. I'll link to all the CPU options down in the video description. Next we have RAM. Your computer needs RAM to run its programs. Don't confuse RAM with your hard drive though, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. For RAM, I would recommend 16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance LPX memory. This should be enough RAM for 4K video editing as long as you aren't editing a video in Premiere while simultaneously also editing another video in After Effects. But if you find yourself multitasking a lot and using multiple video editing programs at the same time, I would consider spending around $70 to $100 more to upgrade to 32 gigabytes of RAM. That's how much I have in my 4K video editing PC and it works great. 
Next, let's talk about one of the funnest parts about building a computer, the graphics card. And one of the reasons that I did not make a budget video editing computer build video for 2018 is because the cost of graphics cards was driven up crazy high because of cryptocurrency mining such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, etc. So it would be difficult to make a budget video editing computer when over half of your budget is being spent on one part. Thankfully, GPU prices have come down significantly, so it's actually feasible to buy one for a reasonable price again. The budget GPU that I would recommend you buy is an NVIDIA 1050 Ti that I found retailing for about $160. This isn't a crazy powerful gaming graphics card by any means, but considering that when it comes to video editing, how much more important a fast CPU with a high core count is over a fast GPU, I still think that it is a great choice that will handle your 4K video renders well. If you have the budget though and can go up in price by around $40, I would recommend the AMD RX 580 graphics card. You probably won't see a big jump in rendering speed with a faster GPU in Adobe Premiere, but if you use DaVinci Resolve for editing, it should be faster. Almost got all the parts. You are going to need a hard drive to store all of your programs and files on though, and I do recommend purchasing an SSD, which is going to be much faster than a traditional spinning hard drive. The SSD that I recommend is the crucial MX500 250 gigabyte M.2 solid state drive that retails for about $50. This is definitely a budget SSD, but it should be a nice mix between speed and storage space. If you have the budget though and want something faster, then I would recommend the 250 gigabyte Samsung 970 Evo M.2 NVMe SSD for around $78. We also need power for this computer. To power it, I would recommend the EVGA 5 500B 500 watt power supply that retails for 40-ish bucks. This should provide plenty of power regardless of which CPU or GPU you choose that I recommended before. If you have the budget and want a nicer power supply, I would recommend the EVGA 550B3 power supply, which is modular. This means that the cables detach from the power supply, so you only have to use the cables that you absolutely need. Whenever it comes time to put all these parts into your case, it's gonna end up looking much cleaner. Speaking of case though, we need a case to put all these parts inside. The case I would recommend is the NZXT H500, which retails for around $70 to $77, depending on which color you want. Yes, you have color options. This case has great airflow, a very open layout, which makes installing parts easy, and it's discreet without a ton of crazy RGB colors or anything like that. With that, that is your $700 computer build. But I see you looking at me now and you're saying, Matt, I still need other parts. I need a monitor, I need a mouse, I need a keyboard, I need an operating system. Help me out here. Let's address the operating system first. Anyone can download a free copy of Windows 10 from the Microsoft support site. What you have to pay for is the activation of that copy of Windows 10. The good news is that if you have an older computer laying around that's running Windows 7 or Windows 8 that you're not using anymore, you can actually get the product key from that older computer and use it to activate your new copy of Windows 10 on your new computer. There's an article at Tom's Hardware about how to do this that I'll make sure to link to down in the description. If you don't have an older PC lying around, I would still check that Tom's Hardware link because it has details about how to buy a copy of Windows 10. As far as a monitor, keyboard, and mouse goes, there are a zillion options out there that are all going to depend on your preferences, but I will make sure to link down in the description to a 4K monitor, a 1080p monitor, and a mouse and keyboard that I recommend. With that, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helps you build a budget video editing computer. Please keep in mind though that these prices are subject to change, especially if Bitcoin starts getting popular again and suddenly graphics card prices are going through the roof. That would absolutely suck, but it can happen. So if you end up seeing that one of the links down in the description has gone crazy high up in price or it's out of stock, please leave me a comment down below and I will update it with a roughly equivalent product that is roughly the same price as the prices in this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.